copywriting versus college. Which route should you go for? Which route should you follow? Should you go to the safe route? Should you listen to your parents and everybody around you that pushes you to go there? Or should you drop out, call it quits, and become a full-time copywriter? Well, I was in the same exact situation last year. But fast forward to today, I made 7.5k last month with copywriting. But nothing happened the way you might think. And in this video, I want to show you the exact process I followed with my... I know with my mindset during that time, so you can see for yourself if dropping out of college or school it would be a good idea for you. Okay, as you can see, there's no fancy, fancy editing, no fancy nothing, it's just me reading out of a Google Doc, and that's how I want to keep it at least for now. So, yeah, so should you go, should you do it? Should you, should you drop out of college? Well, the answer is yes and no, and let me explain why. So, scenario one your entire income depends on somebody else, aka your parents or whoever pays for your bills. If that's you, then you want to be strate strategic about it, like a chess game. I wouldn't, I wouldn't drop out immediately if I was just starting out immediately. So you, you don't want to, you don't want to end up on the streets, do you? That's why. So instead of being like, hey mom, hey dad, um, I'm quitting college, goodbye, have a good one. You want to secure your income first. So how? Well, there are two ways you can go about it. I've tried both, I've tried both ways and I've done both of them. Um, each one, each one at, at a different time of my life. So one in the beginning and the other one toward the end. So number one, make them an irresistible offer. This is something you want to do if you feel like your parents are more open-minded and more importantly, if you have faith in yourself that you're going to make it as a copywriter. You don't want to do that if, if you're just getting started. I wouldn't recommend this if you're a beginner. I also wouldn't recommend this if, if you don't feel like you can make it if you if you don't want to bet in yourself. Because you're not. If you don't believe in yourself, nothing will work for you. So you're going to tell them, at least it's something I told them. You're going to tell them something like, hey, I feel like college isn't, isn't for me for whatever reason. And then you explain. I believe I can make it as a copywriter. So I think I'm, I, I th I'm thinking about dropping out. So what I want to ask from you is, would you give me until X time frame, like two to three months maybe? To learn as much as possible so I can land those clients, make money, and be able to sustain my income so I can drop out of college because this is something I don't want to do. So if I don't succeed by then, I promise to go back to college or school. This is something I told them. Now, of course, don't use this word for word. It's not it's not a anything good, it's not like sales script or something. It's just a prototype. So make your adjustments to this first before using it. So the second route is you, you stole as much as possible. This is more for you if you're a beginner copywriter. So what do I mean? Instead of being upfront about your copywriting goals with whomever is paying your bills, I'd hide it for now. Instead of being, instead of telling them, this is something that Robert Greene talks about in 48 Laws of Power. He says, always hide your intentions. Now, of course, you don't, you don't always want to do that. Okay, you're not, you're not evil. You're not any of that. You don't want to always hide your intentions. At least that's how I am. I, I did it for a good reason, or at least that's, that's, how, that's what I've convinced myself of. Again. So, now no, you, you're not lying to them. If you think that when you had your intentions about this, about college, you're lying to them, you're not. Because if your parents were supporting of, supportive of your goals, and they, they, they were like, okay, go for it, I trust you, um, have three months, do it, make it happen. Okay? If they're not, if they weren't supportive, you're not lying to them. You you wouldn't have to lie to them. So I wouldn't view this as an action that'll make you go to hell or something. At the same time, don't be an asshole again. Don't don't take advantage of them. So if you're in this stage, I try to do the bare minimum when it comes to college. So try to pass the exams and also constantly tell them about stuff that might have happened in school when nothing happened really. <laughs> because you didn't go there. So that way they'll think you're going to college and you'll be giving away those little mental wins. When in reality you're not. So now there's another there's another side of the coin. There's another side of the coin. What if you're working a job on the side and your income isn't dependent on somebody else? Plus you believe in yourself that you can become a full time copywriter. What if you do what do you do then? What should you do then? When I reached the situation when I was making enough to sustain my living expenses, I just burned the bridges. That's it. That's what I did. I made a jump and I never looked back. I'm never going back to that college stuff. I'm never going back to that. It's the best decision I ever made. Because now I've unlocked time, 
financial location freedom. There's no going back. We're going to keep scaling from now on until we reach 50k, 100k, maybe more per month. And the same will happen to you. The same will happen to you watching this. If you get crystal clear about what you want to achieve in your life. So I'm curious, what will you do? What will you do? Will you stay in college? Will you drop out? Just leave a comment and let's have, let's have a chat, okay? Peace.